Martin of London says, what, no car share on? <laughs> Morning, had, Martin. We've had complaints. <laughs> There's not been car shares. So, uh, so yeah, that's, um, that's not been, uh, but we're back, we're back. We're, we're back. back, yes. It's been a busy old time, so I suppose we have um, post-blockchain live blues. Yes, we? yes, yes. We met Dan and yes, we've got Body. And we met so many people and we've had so much follow up to do from that as well, haven't we? We have, we have. Um, Are we uh, going to talk about the, the new branding? Oh, the new branding, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, assuming Ellie's done it, I'm sure Ellie's done it. She, Ellie's bound to have done it. No, she's not, not there today. today. She's bound to have done it, and yeah. along the bottom here now you should see the new branding for EOS UK and Telos UK because obviously Telos is really starting to crescendo now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. getting some really, really good uh, support within the, the community, isn't it? It is. And it people is. are getting very excited about. It. In fact, I heard a story which you don't know about. Maybe. All right, okay. Last night they were testing something. Yeah. Wallet or something, and because people are so keen to te to buy Telos. Somebody went and bought test Telos hey. off, off the Telos test net, but with real money. Oh wow! So that's how <laughs> that's how keen people are. They're accidentally buying real. Wow. No, they're accidentally paying real money for test Telos. So, so obviously that's going to be fixed. And so other than other than having the you know other than sort of coming down from meeting Dan etc. There has been other reasons why we've been a little bit quiet which is mainly your situation regarding house moves. Right? <laughs> yeah, is yeah. Is that correct? So, the more observant viewers will have noticed that on the occasional car share there's been boxes, <laughs> wheelbarrows and, and things sorts. and things in the back and today there are none and that's because we've completed the move. I've sold my house I now no longer own that house. Fair enough. And uh, we're between houses, and uh, we're in the family home, and I am my mum's, and uh, we're, we've agreed to buy a new house, and um, that's all. That's gonna all moving be. along, isn't it? Yeah. So there's move one of two completed, yeah, and there's another one coming. So. Uh, but hopefully the second move won't be so bad because most of your life's in a box already. <laughs> so you've only got to move the boxes again yeah. rather than repack them. Exactly. It should be should be straight more straightforward. So. Yeah. Yeah. And also, really, we've uh, we've not had the best of times over the last couple of weeks, have we? We we have been licking our wounds a little bit. We have. Uh, I'm like a big bear, licking my <laughs> licking my poorly paw. Oh, bless you! Because him. we lost oh three million votes. Yeah. Sad face. There was a, a bit of an next shuffle where we gain some votes but the next but then we had a net loss of three million which yeah. basically took we were we were so disappointed because every day we were like just point naught 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 of a percent off a pay. Yeah. And it's just dropped us right off and it does it does do a little bit for your uh, morale when that happens and you know we've been knocking out videos and trying to keep really high up in people's profiles and doing everything that we think makes a difference and whether we just make <laughs> it a didn't make it, made well, a negative difference. Well, but whether it makes a difference or not is so hard to tell in this world. Uh, yeah. All we're going to do is, but we're going to keep going. Yeah, we've always said uh, we'll keep going until we have to stop. Yeah. And we yeah. haven't got to stop yet. No. So even though I sold my house, because part of that was a financial thing as well, I've had to repay some of the early investment in, that I raised to uh, launch the EOS Block Producer. So, yeah. you know, that hasn't worked out the way I initially expected it to, but that's my, you know, that's my risk. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my business, I take those risks. I blame nobody for that except no. myself. That's fair enough. <laughs> for being foolish enough to think <laughs> that, that this is gonna uh, work. It will work, it will work. But there we go, that's, yeah. that's life and you carry on. Yeah, and the thing is with these things, you know, we've all taken a hit on it. Um, I, I've I've had to restructure my finances as well, True. and you know we're still we're still moving forward on this. But 
the thing is, it's uh, I, I, you know I get fed up of saying we're so early in this space, but we are, <laughs> and what this is going to look like is we just don't know yet. So you know, it, it's it's you know we're going to keep moving forward. And keep moving forward. So at the moment, for me especially, and for yourself. It's tell us for a while. It is. It's all about tell us for a while. I mean, just going back to the bit for next shuffle. It seems that the bit for next proxy voting is is processed on a sort of a once a month basis. Yeah, it seems yeah, like it would seem so. To be, wouldn't it? So once a month, there's this uh, bit for next shake up where you know yeah, some some yeah. proxy votes get removed, some get added, and yeah, sometimes yeah. you win and sometimes you lose, and that's just the nature of things. And I mean, and what, it, one of the one of the followers, not followers, one of the people. Uh, who we really appreciate on our Telegram channel, which is Kevin. Uh, Kevin Rose from uh, EOS New York. Hello, Kevin. Hello, uh, Kevin. He's, he's very often on our Telegram channel. Yeah. He actually gained 21 million votes <laughs> and became number one in the bit for next shuffle, which is like nearly as many votes as we had anyway. Yeah. So it was like, just shows you that this he can have a massive impact yeah. uh, where these, you know, he, he can have that shake up and bang. And it, I, I did congratulate him on his uh, becoming number one. I I'm not sure what he's number one now, but he certainly was for uh, a day or two. So. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what his net gain was 21 his million. His net gain was 21 million. Oh yeah, bugger. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be nice. Yeah. But, hey, we dream of those times. But, and uh, one of the things maybe that people don't understand about how the block producer pay works is that there's a calculation or there's a command that you run, and it and it and it does a calculation at that time based on how much is in the the kitty um, and how many votes you've got and your percentage of the votes. Yeah is taken as the percentage of that kitty and if that's 100 EOS or more you get paid and if it's less than 100 EOS you don't get paid do not pass go do not collect no, 100 EOS pass. it doesn't roll over or anything no, no, it's, it's just good. gone and then you have to wait 24 hours before you can run yeah. it again and uh, so frustrating before we lost that because we were like you know it was a 98, literally 98. 98 or 99 point something here yes. if we had run it because we have a program that pretends to run it all the time to see if it's worth running it to get paid and that was what it was like for about seven eight days it was within a point of an yeah, eos yeah. to get yeah. paid and we didn't but hey ho you know so we go on so we go on to telos because telos yeah. is crescendoing at the moment and uh you know we've been very involved in the, the telos launch um, you know, Jim obviously is the face of Telos as far as the world is concerned. Well, in as much as I chair the uh, weekly call meetings. Well, yeah, and you're all over all of the other meetings. Yeah, as well, I, I do. You? I do tend to uh, jump on a lot of the other calls, and I've been pretty active. Well, I'm very active in the in the Slack channel, which is the the um, the worker where all the work is done, or, or yeah, where all the conversations all the are conversations had amongst are the launch group. Yeah. And uh, my face is actually on the website um, <laughs> to be as a nominated for the uh, on the Talos Foundation Board of Directors. So, yes, well this, done, Jim. Congratulations you. for being nominated by Jan, who's actually the director of the. Uh, he's the, sorry, the no, chairman. He's, he's, the, he's the RAM director. The RAM. He's director. the RAM coordinator. The RAM coordinator. Uh, Is that like the? I heard this phrase. The Ram Bazaar, the Ram yeah, Kazaar, the Ramzar, the Ramzar. Yeah, the Ramzar. We have czars in Britain who uh, who run certain political things. So uh, is the Ramzar is uh, is Jan Smith. And, and what's he going to be doing? Explain to everybody why his role is so important. Well, his role is so important because he's coordinating the um, Telos's response to to Ram, and we're going to have a. Um, I'm not too au fait with this. But Ram is going See to how be... I put Jim on the spot. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that one. <laughs> on the Ram, because I know all about that. Um, that we are having a way of uh, governing how Ram is used on the blockchain. Price. Priced on the blockchain. Yeah, that's the key thing, yeah. isn't it? It's the Ram pricing. Yeah, he's, he's going to, yeah, he's going to oversee, is it? He's going to oversee the Ram pricing, and uh, it's one of two. Um, one of two positions in Telos. There's going to be a director of the Telos Foundation and the RAM administrator, uh, who is going to be two paid positions within Telos or uh, within the Telos Foundation. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's that's completely different to EOS. It's one of the differences. Whereas um, the Telos Foundation, if I'll talk about that for a moment, is. EOS hasn't had a sorry, Telos hasn't had it, hasn't got a big ICO behind it, hasn't got a massive war chest behind it. So And it hasn't got a block one. And it hasn't, it, hasn't it hasn't got a block one no. behind it. 
So the idea of the Tullus Foundation, I'll just read a quote here from the website. So the Tullus Foundation, the, is to, the aim of it is to aid the promotion and improvement of the Tullus blockchain. So that's what it is. And it's been given six million uh, Tullus on launch to play with to promote that uh, that goal and people can be voted in uh, there, there are going to be 12 board members who then vote that in so you're nominated as one of those 12 I'm nominated right? as one of those 12 yeah so soon after launch there'll be a there'll be an election and the board will be and but, how, the, um, there's an interesting point it's called we're totally going off piece now but how's the uh, election for those 12 board members going to be managed because there's a special token or something yeah yeah so what's going to happen is the people who have um could have read about this this morning roger there is something <laughs> called the tfvt which is the telos foundation voting token yeah so it is really quite quite a long i won't go into full explanation but i'll put a link on the website where it shows you the document where you can go and read on this if you would like to but the idea is is the people who have been uh, instrumental in launching the blockchain is that us that's us oh, cool. uh there's they contribute to something called the slicing pie app yeah whereby um your contribution is added to a big pie and then that is your uh, your reward is seen is then given through what you've been perceived as your benefits to the chain your so contribution. your contributions to the chain and therefore you will receive a telos voting token per there's a, there's per a, slice per slice, slice or you know there's a percentage to yeah. how many you get so if you've done a, loads and loads you'll get a few more than somebody who's only done a little bit yeah but everybody will get a vote and they are they're non fiduciary as it's called so they, they have no value other than to be able to vote on the chain so these tokens are um, you know they're non they're non they don't have a value they don't have a value yeah. other than to vote but the, the great thing about the Talos Foundation is is that if people don't like it it's six million it's six million tokens but it's going to be used to pay people and do all these promotions will slowly dwindle away and it will um, it, it will have to apply to the work proposal fund for those that six million to be chopped up right. so if people don't actually like what the foundation is doing then they won't vote for that worker proposal to be voted up. So the foundation won't continue and something right, else right. may come away. So even though it, you know, so it's, it is uh, it is decentralized and even though it's uh, it's being set up as a fait accompli to start with, mm. that's only just to get the ball rolling and okay. if people don't like it, then it can go. Mm. So oh, that, that's good. the that's the beauty of it, the thing that I really like about it. It gives us a kickstart, but if people aren't happy with it, then it, it, it ends. Yeah, because the good. other thing that it does do that uh, EOS cannot do is, is it gives Telos um, a an organisation, an entity that can sign up for things yes. and fund things yes. um, without being this whole thing about without it being a security. Yes, that's right. Uh, and so, like, if we collectively all agree that we want to go and promote um, Telos, well, even something like a Telegram account, you yeah, know, yeah. it's got to be linked to uh, a person or an entity. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what um, uh, the Telos network is there for as, a, as an organisation. Yeah. Well, the foundation's there the for foundation, that. Foundation, and yeah, you know, sorry. if people like it, it continues. If people don't like it, then it stops. So yeah. uh, it's. I, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be really, really useful for the for the blockchain. Yeah. And, uh, I can see lots of positives with that. Definitely. So we digress. Yeah. A bit sorry. more background information yeah. there for people that are interested in uh, how Telos is going to work and some of its differences with EOS. So that's great. What What's the next point? We were well, the, the next thing is that I think the, the one of the biggest sticking points with EOS has been the governance yeah. of it all. And, yeah. and it's still, I mean, I must admit, I've dropped off actually being active on every single uh, governance channel on EOS because I've sort of, you can lose there's the world too, to live. Yeah, there's too much. There's too much. And it's clear that the, the governance side of EOS is, I think, slight. it is its weakness, yeah. I think. And yeah. I, I don't think anybody would argue with that, although people are working really hard. But the point is on Telos, all the governance documents have been passed. Hey. Which is, which is quite amazing. Which um, means what? Which means that, I'm going to quote from the website, okay, or I'm going to quote from um, 
at the post which is on here, which, which talks about all the uh, governance documents, and it says, uh, the Telos blockchain, um, it will have a complete documentation and operation instructions, such as full on-chain governance, the ability to ratify or amend the, the governance documents by the community voting, or work proposal systems and elected to VP arbitrators. So before it launches, all those things are going to be in place. Yeah. And we have now ratified all the documents to make that happen. And that was a really fun process, wasn't it, Jim? It was. I was on <laughs> I was on three government calls a week and we have all the documents in place. And this medium article by Douglas Horn explains each one of those documents and how they differ from EOS mm -hmm. and I would recommend anybody if they're particularly interested in the differences between Telos and EOS go and have a look at that article and see how the Telos blockchain network operating agreement uh, differs um, but the fact that it's there is really good. <laughs> yeah, it exists <laughs> that, that it I exists. suppose on EOS it's not been it's not been fully ratified yeah and the, the the amazing well not the amazing but the great thing about it is that we also have the uh the telos blockchain network arbitrator rules and procedures document which is another 14 page document that that outlines every single step of the process yeah and the fantastic thing about uh telos and about this crescendo we're talking about if you go to this uh, website, which is the arbitration section on the Telos network, you'll see that even before launch, we have got three arbitrators in place ready, ready, for, ready for election. They're not been elected yet, but they've put themselves up on the website to be elected. The, the, what, arbitrator candidates? Arbitrator candidates. So if we're block producer candidates, they're, yeah. they're ABCs. A, yeah, they're, 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 they're arbitrators. <laughs> um, so this is so much further along the line. I mean, ECAF, which is the equivalent of the, um, the on EOS, actually haven't got even produced their handbook yet. Really? So... Have they got funding? EAS, ECAF? I, I don't know. No. I don't, well, that's always an issue with it. But the point is, with the uh, arbitrator on uh, Telos, it's a central and binding document, mm. and it is... Um, uh, all, and it can be amended by the community as opposed to the ECAF is a separate organisation, mm. and mm. It's, it's funded separately, but this is fully on-chain fully integrated to the to the to the process mm. which again is different but the fact that we've got three people who are, are candidates to be arbitrators At before launch. we've even launched yeah. or oh, not even launched not yeah. even launched ready then, for launch ready for yeah. launch then you know it just shows that how how far along we are with this and mm. how well thought out it's been mm. and you know I've I've got to commend um, James at Goodblock for his work on the James website. James Davis, no James, relation. No relation. <laughs> um, the work on the website is fantastic. And I do, I really um, tell people to go and check the website out. Mm. The information on there is tremendous. It yeah, really is yeah. good. So tellusfoundation.io slash foundation, you'll see all about the, yeah, the yeah. board of director nominees and um, tellusfoundation.io slash launch. And we can see the launch the checklist, checklist uh, the prerequisites, yeah. as I as I the gave, it, gave it its name, and uh, so I always feel quite proud that yeah. I was involved in that. And, that and it's, to life. you know, and the arbitration process is on there. All the government's documents are on there, mm. and it's just a great resource to to uh, to get your understanding of Telos and where it's going, and also to get a feel of the professionalism and the level of work that's gone into this thing. Yeah, it's and massive. it is a true community-led programme. Oh, I mean, I was thinking right. about it, there's over 100 people like me and Jim involved in Telos all over the world. Yeah. You know, it's not just like Block One and some of the people that work for them. It's, it's a true community-led project. This blockchain is the people's blockchain. It really yeah, is. It been, is. been made by the people. It is. Uh, it, so, it is. It is tremendous. Yeah. So great. Smashing. Okay. Tell us. It's the future. What's next? Okay then. So, well, you're, you're up now because it's exchanges. Come exchanges. on. Exchanges. Well, so. It's big the, news. For Tell us, obviously, we had the recent announcement that Dexios is going to be the first exchange that's going to list Telos. Okay. So uh, that's fantastic. It's a decentralized exchange, so it's true peer-to-peer -peer exchange. So if you've got EOS and you want to buy or sell Telos for it, you can you can do that. 
There are now three, three. exchanges confirmed uh, who are going to be listing Telos, and one of those two new exchanges is going to be listing Telos with a new fr uh, currency pair. So Dexios is Telos and EOS. Right. Uh, as I think is the, the, the second one, but the third exchange is going to be Telos and another currency which I can't mention until it's been okay. announced, but it's not EOS. Right. So it's, te it's a Telos currency pair, which is very exciting. So if it's been announced before Ellie does the production, yeah. she can put some initials there. She could. She could say it's Telos and... Roger, that'll be great. Well, Roger's not allowed to say. <laughs> so any day now, stuff. probably today or tomorrow, that information yeah. is going to come out. But obviously, this probably won't be published until tomorrow. Yeah. So that's very exciting. That's brilliant. And so testnet performance. Testnet, come oh, on, mate. come on. So since we've launched on the testnet, um, our uh, block producer node is Telos UK nodes. Um, we've kind of been hovering around the top of the performance scale, as in the bottom. <laughs> it's been a bit. So this is one of those upside down graphs, it's the CPU response time of your server. So the lower you can get it, the better. Lower you um, go. I wasn't really very happy with it. Paul's been busy with, with other things and keeping the EOS nodes up to date and everything. We're looking at it going, come on, we must be able to improve yeah, yeah, the performance. Yeah. And yesterday he cracked it, so hopefully now there's a graph here which you can see, which is where Paul More cracked line. it and the line just went boo, straight down and we're in the, the top three now for uh, performance on the uh, Telos testnet, so I'm absolutely delighted about that. So yeah, well done, Paul. Good well work, done, Paul. mate. Thanks for that. Make Again, sure you remember how you did that. Yeah, it uh, <laughs> just shows that uh, we're not just uh, not just a pretty face. Not, we're not just good at, good at car shares. We can also actually do some of the engineering stuff behind this, which is great. That's fantastic. Okay, then. So I've got a note here about which public is keys. Public keys. Come on, yeah, what's all so, that about? So when um, uh, Telos was going to launch. It was going to use the in the public key. Uh, if, if you've got an EOS public key, it begins with EOS. Yeah. And on Telos, it was going to begin with Telos, T L O S, yeah, which, is which is the, the ticker coin. symbol. Uh, and now it's not going to anymore. Now it's still going to be EOS. And the reason for this is, is this is a backwards sort of change that the co the, t the coding teams had to make because there's been some upstream change in EOS I O, which yeah. is what EOS and Telos and all of the other EOS I O chains derive from uh, so there's some up, upstream changes which need to be incorporated that mean we can't do telos anymore yeah. and it has to be eos keys but i think it i don't know it'll either make it simpler for people or it'll make it simpler for people to get confused yeah and, but and, and we'll I'm, see. I, I'm not i'm not too concerned about it i think it's going to be all right yeah I, I think this sort of thing it, if we're going to get mass adoption, this sort of thing will sort itself out in other ways. Yeah, yeah and uh, you know, it's going to be that, that's going to be behind another. There's going to be a, I, I, the way I think of things is curtains. There's going to be another veil, if you like, on top of that. Well, a bit like your EOS Telos account name, your yeah, twelve yeah, yeah. character account yeah, yeah. name, where yeah. you know we're almost quite familiar with talking about those in terms of how we reference our accounts. Yeah, and yeah. So we almost yeah. don't think about the public and private keys unless you actually need to yeah. set something up. Yeah. And once it's set up, you don't really no have anything to do with that anymore. But I mean, so we, we're hoping I, that's... I did. Um, I, I did sort of uh, see. Uh, a note in one of our WhatsApp chats from from Steve. Mm. Uh, hi, Steve. How are you Hello, doing? Steve. Thanks uh, for all your airdrop information. Yeah, yeah, by the way, yeah, you're, just, the, you're the airdrop <laughs> king. Uh, airdrop <laughs> airdrop. Um he, he did uh, one of his notes uh, on uh, WhatsApp, which I really sort of made me smile. Was we're a long way from mass adoption because <laughs> yeah. he was like, I know, and and, and we are, and uh, you know, these things are going to be going to be reskinned and redone for people to mm, get mass mm, adoption. Mm. But that that's another way. Yeah. But, but anyway. So look out for that change. It's that's happened in the last. So few talking days. about mass adoption, big announcement. Speaking of keys, you mean? Well, yeah, Speaking yeah. Speaking of but, keys, yeah, yeah. We've got a special Anthony announcement for those of you that seen car share before and are familiar with. Young Anthony, who's the muscles behind our operation is, of lifting boxes and things, and then the next generation is connecting us with the next generation. And as you may have known, he's lost his keys. Yeah, bless he's him. lost his keys to his EOS. He's lost his keys to his 
Bitcoin, he's lost his keys to his Go coin, he's lost his keys to his Woman <laughs> coin, and every other coin that we've ever mucked about with, he's his, lost his keys his to. Go, his Go coin's probably all right, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, as uh, one uh, of you commented on the YouTube, uh, Mr. Sheffield, I think, said, Roger, what would you rather have, Anthony's youth? Or yeah. your private keys, and of course we all know the answer to that. <laughs> we'd much we'd pay gladly pay ten times to be yes, Anthony. Yes. Uh, but and, and, and to what was your call? And, and to have his percentage body fat as well. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, he's like a younger Donis. But anyway, the big news is Anthony's managed to get access to his EOS account now. Uh, I said to him, how did you do that? And he said, well, I re-exported my Ethereum EOS private key. Wow. I created a new pair of keys on Scatter. Uh, and it's all good. So I'm like, well, I, thought, I thought we'd tried that, but obviously he's uh, he's done it right. And for whatever reason, when I tried that, it didn't work for him. So well done, Anthony. Well done. Good mate. Well done. Good man. And uh, so uh, yeah. And also the other big news is that in in relation to that, I also managed to get access for my first user who had contacted me to say they'd lost or no, they'd forgotten to register their EOS. Right. So this is big. There must be a lot of people out there have forgotten to register their EOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually about 10 million EOS. Right. Uh, it's unregistered. Uh, so there is now uh, a process where you can go in. Uh, if you go through EOS Authority or EOS... Uh, is it Argentina or Singapore? Argentina. Argentina. Um, then they've got a process where you can actually go and get Brilliant. a new EOS account made using your uh, Ethereum private yeah. key yeah. and you'll get access to your unregistered EOS Fantastic. so that's that's moving forward so forward are we able to help well. people with that uh, well they just need to go to that no, site okay, but, cool, cool. you know I mean basically there's one more thing which is when launch Jim tell us when launch tell Come us on. when launch is well, it tomorrow it's, it's tomorrow is the next go no go call is tomorrow right. and uh, we are going to be debating dangerously the, close it is, is dangerously it close is it there? If I'm honest, I don't think it is there. Um, but it's dangerously close. It's dangerously close, but also there are there is a lot of people pushing for launch on Telos, but there's also a lot of people being pragmatic, not wanting to make similar mistakes that were made on other chains. You mentioned <laughs> their names, and a, a, there is a push for people to 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 do what we said, which was we will not be launching until we have blah 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 yeah, blah yeah. and we are not going to do that so if if you want my prediction as the guy who's called the face of Talos for some reason <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to go uh, tomorrow and but I think there's a good chance of setting a date where we will be very close to uh, to doing that so mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think what is the date patient. tomorrow just it's the 18th isn't it the 18th of October 2018 yeah yeah, yeah. tomorrow is it, so the or is it the 17th what date is it today Lost track, mate. Lost track. I would Lost look track. on my phone, but it's in yeah, use. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's the seventeenth. Sorry, it's seventeenth. The vote is the seventeenth. So it's the sixteenth today. Sixteenth today. Seventeenth tomorrow. So as, as we record, vote. as we record tomorrow, the seventeenth is the first go, no go, second go, no go <laughs> vote. Um, yeah. And I should be there trying to um, keep the uh, box of frogs in order. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, and, uh, and 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 there we go. So that's all right. Good. Well, that. thanks for that. So just and don't forget, oh. it's all um, it's all live streamed. It's all live streamed. Yes, if you want to come on on the call and watch it with a two second delay, you can then. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. So um, yeah. So if you found this video useful and you'd like to reciprocate. Uh, then do please consider what like liking, sharing, and voting. Voting, on, how about on, that? On vote, vote for us, please. On EOS UK, we are sorry. On EOS, our block producer handle is EOS UK Block Pro. And on Telos when it launches, which may or may not be tomorrow, you'll be able to start voting soon uh, for us using Telos UK nodes, which is our block producer handle on, on Telos. Okay. So if you want to vote, download a wallet um, or learn how to use uh, Scatter uh, in conjunction with one of the, you know, the website, the Block Explorer websites. Uh, and if you need any help with any of that, then of course get in touch with us via Whatever method you prefer, uh, indicated on our website, eosukio. eosuk.io. Got it wrong. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.